Welcome. We're so glad you're here tonight as we relive that glorious night, relive the event where God sent his son into the world, God incarnate. Tonight, the kids, the Sunday school kids and youth will be retelling that story. You know, that story is not only God's good news for all of humanity, it's also a sacred privilege that we have of sharing the story and retelling the story. And we're glad that you're part of it tonight. My prayer is that uh, you will accept God's good gift this Christmas, his perfect gift of love as we celebrate God's love that you believe, that you receive, that you embrace, and that you share that love with all those around you. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you for this awesome night and opportunity that we have to retell the story of your coming to earth. We pray that your spirit would speak to each of our hearts, that we would grow, that flame within us would would be fanned into flame and that we would grow in our relationship with you through this experience and this evening. Amen. The choir. Oh yes, I wanted to, uh, to tell people to do that. Would you please stand and extend the peace and the love of Christ to one another?
On the four Sundays of Advent, we lit the candles of hope, love, joy, and peace. Tonight, we remember once again God's promise fulfilled. Love came down. The light of life broke into our world that, on that Bethlehem night. Now we light the Christ candle. Kyle's making his way in to light the Christ candle. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. In the beauty and brightness of the flame, we remember the words of Jesus. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Lord Jesus, shine in our hearts. Let us embody the blessed hope, love, joy, peace, and light of Christ and radiate it back to the world. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Amen. Would you join me in the prayer found in your bulletins? Let us pray together. Love divine, all loves excelling. Joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling. All thy faithful mercies crown. Jesus, thou art all compassion, pure, unbounded love thou art. Visit us with thy salvation. Enter every trembling heart. Amen. I invite, I invite you now to join us as we sing together Love Came Down at Christmas, number 242 in the Red Hymnals. for joining us tonight for our kids Christmas program they are going to share the message of the nativity tonight and I want you to be thinking about the theme that you're going to hear through the readings and the scriptures and the songs it's all about love love came down at Christmas and so tune your ears to hear the kids message and the beauty of the music as well tonight Uh-huh. 
town with bright stars shine above. Remember a Bethlehem and whisper, Christ is love. Remember a holy boy there in a stall. Remember a boy born for all. Remember a family so weary and worn. Remember a holy boy and whisper, Christ is born. Christmas tide and a baby is born in a manger. Christmas tide and a baby no longer a stranger. Bethlehem, place of Christ's birth. Remember our God came to earth. Remember God gave us a gift from above. Remember our Bethlehem and whisper, Christ is love, Christ is love. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent to dwell on earth. A savior meant for all mankind, a maiden would give him birth. His name would be called Jesus. His destiny would be to die on a cross and rise from death from sin to set us free. This is love. This is love. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as atoning sacrifice for our sins.
We bring you this Christmas night, the greatest story ever told. In the little town of Nazareth, our drama will unfold. A faithful girl named Mary, who worshiped God with joy, was chosen as the vessel to bear the baby boy. One day when Mary was at home, an angel did appear. Greetings, highly favored one. God is with you, do not fear. The angel said to Mary, I shall tell you of God's plan to make you mother of his son, who will walk the earth as a man. Confused, the maiden Mary asked, Angel, how can this be? I am pure and innocent body. No man has been with me. With overshadowing power, the Holy Spirit will descend. You'll conceive the blessed Son of God, whose kingdom will never end. The words brought joy to Mary's heart, and awe drove out her fear. What would my beloved Joseph say? Will he listen? Will he hear? Confused, Joseph wondered. What can all of this mean? So the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child, the child conceived by the Holy Spirit will, be, will bring eternal life. When this blessed child is born, give him the name Jesus, for he comes to set the sinner free. Emmanuel, God is with us. Because Joseph honored the Lord and wanting to obey, he showed great love to Mary, knowing God would make a way. Love is patient, love, it, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. As months went by, Joseph and Mary rejoiced each even more. The time was drawing very near for God's son to be born. Then one day, Joseph hurried home upon hearing the latest news. All people have to pay a tax, and we cannot refuse. So Mary packed, and off they went to Joseph's family town. She rode upon a donkey's back from sunrise till sundown. And if you'll join in singing in the songs that you see printed in your bulletin. <clears throat> Busy Bethlehem, I met the dust and noise. A 
of overcrowded markets filled with grown-ups, girls, and boys. They stopped at every crowded inn to find a place to stay. But all the, room, all the rooms were occupied, and they were turned away. Mary traveled, worn and weak, said, Joseph, I am not feeling very strong. I think the time for the baby's birth will not be very long. Finally, the owner of the next inn said, Yes, I have a place. It's nothing more than livestock barn, but it is warm and safe. He led the weird couple to the stable in the back. The animals watched Joseph while he started to unpack. First, Joseph found a manger where the sheep and cows were fed. Filling it with fresh, clean straw, he made a little bed. Then Mary, on that holy night, gave birth to God's own son. This baby, this little, this tiny baby was born to be Prince of Peace for everyone. At the same time, outside the town, some shepherds tended sheep. While keeping watch, one played a flute and lulled his lambs to sleep. the darkness an angel appeared with dazzling blinding light the shepherd shielded unbelieving eyes and fell quaking quaking at the sight fear not fear not I bring good news glad tidings of great joy the Savior Christ the Lord is here a newborn baby boy and all at once a heavenly host of angels filled the sky glory to God in the highest peace on earth ring out their cry.
shepherds stood in wonder as the heavens rang with sound. They started off for Bethlehem where the baby would be found. Inside the little stable, the shepherds gathered round to honor Jesus Christ, the Lord. They knelt down on the ground. This humble group of shepherds awed by what they seen and heard. Many men in the Lord, let us go and spread the word. At this time, I invite our ushers to come forward as we receive the offering. What? 
is this love that sent a little baby from heaven's land so bright into a humble Bethlehem town to be born of Mary that night. It is the love of a father who gave the best that he had lost people to save. What is this love that Put aside the glory of living at God's right hand. To walk the earth in the form of a man and with the lowly to stand. It is the love of a son who gave the best that he had. Lost people to save. What is this love that caused him to suffer on a shameful cross? Forsaken of God and man as he suffered all the sins and our loss. It is the love of a Savior who gave the best that he had people to save. What is this love? It's the love of a father. What is this love? It's the love of a son. What is this love? It's the love of a savior. Three wise men seeking for the child had journeyed from afar, guided across the desert sands, led by a brilliant eastern star. The beam of light stopped over the place where the little family stayed. Upon seeing the child with his mother, at his feet precious gifts were laid. The wise men gave him frankincense, sweet myrrh, and brilliant gold. The shepherds brought him warm sheep wool to keep him from the cold. They each presented Jesus with a simple gifts of love and humble gratitude for this priceless gift from God above.
In the shadow of, a man, of the manger, there stands a rugged cross, pointing to Jesus' sacrifice, where he paid the ultimate cost. In coming to a sin-sick world, Jesus left his throne above. The King of Kings willingly gave up his life, and he did it, all for love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever please, believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him.
I'd like us to take a moment to again appreciate our players. I think they're almost ready for prime time, don't you? <laughs> From the youngest to the oldest, especially the youngest, baby Jesus, I don't know if you noticed, he didn't cry, he didn't make a fuss. He's ready. You know, the, the Greeks had a number of words for love. Filio, having to do with brotherly love. Appreciation for friends and for one another. Eros was a word that talked about sensual love, but God's agape love is what we're talking about. God's perfect love for his special creation. The Holy One, divine, creator of all. Loved his creation so much that, as Wesley said, God sent his son into the world. And that's what we celebrate tonight. That's what we celebrate at Christmas. Again, my prayer is that you would receive this most precious gift from God, that Jesus would be your Lord and Savior. Love came down at Christmas, love, all love divine. Love came down at Christmas, and I know, I know that love is mine. Love was in a King of all, the shepherds heard the choir of angels, the wise men saw distant light, they found no wonder they were looking for, and worshipped him that holy night. silent night and we'll be passing the light to uh, to light your candles and the kids are going to join us up front with their um, with their lights
I invite you, it is our tradition to receive the blessing of Christ as we leave this place to be his light in the world. And I invite you to reach out and receive God's blessing. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Go now in the peace and the love of Christ to love God and serve his world. Amen. Merry Christmas. Good job, guys. Nice yes, job. Oh, that was beautiful.